Hey everyone, uh, good evening. Today with my session and my talk, we will go into somewhere else than Earth. We're not gonna stay here. We are going to space. So who is excited? <laughs> so tonight I'm gonna tell you my story of how I became a spacesuit designer. And what are the steps to be in space industry in the first place? What should you study or how, like, what is the best way to go there? But before that, I want to tell you my little story since I was very small, and very young. At a young age, I was always attached to stars. And I had that, you know, special relationship between me and the moon. I was always sitting at my window at night and thinking, like, what is the best way to go to the moon? And how can I, me, myself, make it there? And then after that, in a while, I found myself at the Rocky Garden in SpaceX, looking at the same moon, our moon. And from, that, from there, my story began, and I started to touch my dreams. But I want to tell you more. Was really spacesuit the thing that I wanted to be? It wasn't, actually. It was kind of a coincidence and something popped up in my life, I've always wanted to be an astronaut. You know that typical question, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a doctor, I want to be something. I've always mentioned to be an astronaut. A lot of people laughed at me, but that never changed me, and I was always attached and going forward to be an astronaut, but I ended up for now being a spacesuit designer. I'm gonna tell you my story. Talking about, you know, social media and platforms that we're using every day. At my senior year as a mechanical engineering, telling you the story of becoming a mechanical engineering was because, you know, as someone who loves space, of course we, on, we only have NASA to go and search, like what are the prerequisites that we need in order to be astronauts. And every time I was seeing becoming a mechanical engineer is the first thing to do. And I did that, I took that leap to be a mechanical engineering, to get into mechanical engineering and to become a mechanical engineer. But then from that, uh, my senior year, I saw an ad on Facebook saying, designing rover and a spacesuit in Jordan. And I was like, okay, is a space coming to Jordan? That was something really impressive for me. And I participated in that competition. I won that competition and I became the first spacesuit designer. Thank you. So this picture shows you my first suit, the first iteration. As you see, this is the outer layer of the suit. From inside, you have multiple layers. It's heavy, it's not comfort at all. But it was my first iteration, I learned a lot. I designed it with passion, and then it turned into my graduation project in mechanical engineering because I designed an innovative cooling system inside the suit. The next picture shows two of my suits that has been tested in Switzerland for the mission called Asclepius. Asclepius II were my suits to be tested in a 14 days mission in an isolation place in, it's in Switzerland. And that's the competition when I won it. That's my colleague in the research phase. That's the bulky suit, as you see it's you know, some bulkiness in it because there's multiple layers from inside. Small success lead us to even more success. Thank you. That's the other suit that has been tested in a different environment in Switzerland. And talking about environments, we do have a very special environment here in Jordan. It's Wadi Rum. It looks exactly like Mars. A lot of movies has come to Jordan, Dune, Martian, Star Wars, to film there. So we have gold in our hands. That's the art of the suits. And from there, I can tell you more about my fourth suit. 
Tesla suit, sorry, not Tesla, I was thinking of the, Stella suit. Stella suit is the suit that I have designed with a team, and that's me inside the suit. It was tested in Wadi Rum, and now you can see the terrain that looks exactly like Mars. And the traditions of Jordan, of course, on the backpack, as you can see. From inside, the suit has multiple life support systems. It has ventilation systems. Systems can keep you alive even on Earth. Moving forward, my fifth and sixth suits that has been designed also for Asclepius in Switzerland. These suits are more customized because of the color. Orange is my favorite color, but I wanted to make it in orange to pop up in the terrain of uh, Switzerland, the green terrain of Switzerland. So that was something really personal and special for me because these suits has been designed by me only and I did them from my room, literally, in Erbed. I live in Erbed and I started there. I manufactured them by myself. Thank you. And now you can see the simulation of the suits. These suits have done, has has been working in a very hard environment, EVA missions, extravehicular activities, the missions that astronauts usually do outside the spacecraft. And these suits are specialized for such missions. And this is the team, Asclepius, and that's inside the habitat where they want to go and train themselves to become an analog astronauts. Speaking of becoming an analog astronaut, you can see my suit, that's my flight suit. I have been become a trainer as a citizen astronaut in the United States. I have taken this program that calls Possum from IIAS. We've learned a lot of different stuff. One of them, how to expose yourself to hypoxia, low ox oxygen, as well as difference in gravity. And now you can see me floating in the air, experiencing gravity. That's the pressurized spacesuit I've been in. I was too small, like too small. I barely fit inside. Anyway, that's the, pr the gravity difference experience in the acrobatic plane extra 300. And now you can see the video. You can experience literally different in gravity. Right now we live in one gravity, but th there I experienced minus six, plus six, and zero G where I floated. That's the course I have taken. Moving from there, I've always speak about the power of inclusion. What I mean by the power of inclusion, I don't want to see myself only there. I want to see you all there. If I am the first one, I want you to be the second one, and you the third one, and even you the fourth one. I want to see more Jordanian young students, young passionate, young talented people there to be in such conferences, to wear such suits, and to go through these this training courses. Because it's not that far. It's, it's not that hard. It's not that easy. But it's applicable. So it's your chance to go to such missions, to go to such places, to meet the space industry. It is so small, but at the same time, it's so big to be in the space someday. Another thing I want to talk about, being a s an ambassador for the international celebration in the world, this is Yuri's Night. They have it each year in different country. So I want me and you plan together to host Yuri's Night one day here, maybe in this university or other universities, to have Yuri's Night, to have ambassador from Jordan to be with us and represent us because the space is not that far. We have our neighbors, Saudi Arabia and United Ar Arab Emirates. They started to float space. So it's our chance right now to design suits, rover, satellites, or even train ourselves to be analog astronauts. Okay. And last but not least, was one of my dreams to come and visit NASA. And I did it. It really was my dream. And to be honest, I wrote it in a piece of paper, and I was saying, I want to visit NASA. And I did. And I saw the spacesuits <laughs> there. I also wanted to visit the Starship. If anyone knows the story of the Starship, 
that will ship the transportation thing. So the Starship also something I wanted to visit in SpaceX, the Rocket Garden. And yeah, I made that also a reality. And from there, I want to tell you, never stop dreaming. I want you all to achieve your dreams. It doesn't matter if it's you know, going to some university or going to space. You will make it sooner or later. Thank you. Thank you. The last thing I want to talk about is I was always thinking, what is the best way to go after graduation? I graduated as a mechanical engineer, but I never knew what should I you know, work. A material scientist? I don't think so. There's that company that is specialized in such things. So I said, OK, so let me be the first one to create something to start up something. So right now, right now I am in the phase of becoming the founder and CEO of my own startup, my own company, Shield and Tech, and also my own community, that it's going to be your community very soon, MENA community, space community in the Middle East, North Africa. But speaking of Shield and Tech, it's not only for space, it's also for Earth. And if you are more interested in knowing more about my startup, that all of you can become a volunteer and trainees. Because right now, I don't think so there's enough experience out there to you know, attract these employees to come with experience. So we need people with zero experience. So that's your chance to come and join me. You can, you can follow us. You can uh, go to our website and see what's coming next. And as I said, Never stop dreaming. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can contact me if you want. That's my email. That's my LinkedIn. And then you can see the, the latest updates on spacesuits, space, and everything that's beyond Earth. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.